this video, I'm going to show you something that I find very practical because it's something you're going to find in a lot of real life development. So we've, you may wonder if you've done development before, why we're worrying about writing to a file. Typically you're going to be writing to databases and things like that. But certain things actually really work well to write to files. And one of the items that works like that is the log file. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do right here. So let's create a iterator. So I'm going to say 10 times do. And here I'm going to set up a sleep call. So I'm going to tell it to sleep for one second because I want to actually mimic some different times because we're going to be using our logger with having specific times on it. So I want each of the time uh, timestamps to be different. So I'm going to tell it to sleep for one second and uh, give us some debugging output here. I'm going to say record saved. So that'll go through each iteration. And now in order to uh, write to our logger file, I'm going to say file.open and then call our path files lessons dash. And I created a empty file right here. You can see server underscore logs and you can see it's empty. So I'm going to say server underscore logs dot text. And in this case, we're going to use the A option because we are appending. And I'm also going to make, yeah, I have word wrap set up. So we'll just continue the next line automatically. And now needs a block. And the first thing in our block is going to be our iterator variable. In this case, I'm going to make it F. And I'm going to say F dot puts and say server started at And I'm going to use some string interpolation here and say time dot new. Okay, perfect. So I'm pretty sure this should be everything I need. So I'm opening a file. I'm giving the option of appending to whatever is there. And then I'm passing in this block where I'm going to say server started at and then give it a timestamp. And I'm doing that 10 times and giving it a one second break in between each one. So let's see if this works. So I'm going to say Ruby uh, file lessons and then appending to file record save, record save. It should go through, hit this 10 times. Perfect. And now let's see if our file has that. Go to server logs and there you go. You can see it says server started at and then it has each one of these with a different timestamp. So this has 10 records, which is cool. But now let's see if we can append to something that's pre-existing. So all of this is the same. So let's just come back, run it one more time. And now our file should have 20 records because it's not going to go and replace the elements. It's just going to go and append to what is already there. So if I click server logs again, and there you go, we have 20 of them. So this is something that's actually practical. If you're building a logging system or you need the ability to uh, dump your server logs from an application into a text file, this is something that is actually practical and you could do in a real life application. So great job. If you went through that, you should now have a really good understanding in going through this section on how to work with Rubies and specifically how Ruby works with the file system.